What's up everyone, Jonas here for Thoman Synthesizers. In today's video, I will check out a theremin and how useful this instrument can be in electronic music production. I think I became kind of obsessed with uh, obscure and weird uh, instruments and production techniques. When I saw the theremins, I was really fascinated how you are able to touch the music itself and play with it. And so I thought, okay, I can have a try and check out how useful it can be. And if this is not enough, I thought this could be a nice opportunity to bring back source comparison. So I will check out first the Moog Theremini and afterwards the Theremin module by Döpfer. So up front I have to say of course that I have a lot of respect regarding this instrument and professional theremist players or theremist musicians. So in general, I think this is a really, really interesting instrument and we have a lot of possibilities um, integrating it in a producer setup. So a theremin goes back to the year 1920. Overall, you can see the instrument has two different uh, metal antennas. So this one is for the pitch and this one is for the volume. So if you have your hand like this, then no volume is coming out. And the closer you go to this metal antenna, the higher the pitch will be. When we think about this a little bit, then of course um, this instrument allows us to not only play pitches uh, to the Western scales, etc., but um, you can play everything in between because there's an infinitive pitch, let's say, and the position of your hand uh, controls the pitch so you can play everything in between actually whatever you want so this instrument is really really sensitive compared to let's say a piano where you have 12 notes at the same time actually this makes it so unbelievable difficult to play it for me personally because there is like so many pitches and you have to hear like really closely where's the the right one but luckily uh, the newest model of Moog, the Moog Theremini, has the pitch correction and you can scale it to different scales and also choose the route you want to use for your composition. So it makes it fairly more easy to use. All right, so let's check out how we can play and how the theremin sounds like. Okay, you see already, the closer I come, the uh, earlier starts the instruments to play. So this hand is controlling the uh, volume and this one the pitch. So if I raise the left hand now... The Moog Theremini is coming with uh, 30 different presets, but uh, I think it's not about sound design, actually it's a way you approach a theremin to play it and what you want to do with it. Because you have CV out, so you are able to send your movements and CV control voltage signals to different synthesizers and in this case to the modular. So now I'm sending chords via Ableton uh, to the Poly Cinematic, which is a polyphonic Eurek module. And then the signal is going to various modulation and effect modules. And I've used the Thera Mini now to connect the modulation. So it's under control of the antenna of the Thera Mini. So at the same time, the CV signal we can send uh, with the movements of our body and hands, I think it's really expressive, a really expressive LFO coming from ourself. So it's a combination humanized LFO VCA kind of. Up next, let's check out the module by Döpfer. So the Döpfer module is uh, very handy in terms of uh, the size, but also in the terms of functions, because on the module itself, we will only find two potis 
for the threshold and one for the offset. So I think it's very, very interesting on how reduced the module is itself, free in terms of modulation and in your creative ways of uh, modulate different things because um, it's so humanized and your movement is basically controlling everything and I think this is like a whole different level of possibilities inside Eurorack. Moreover, on the Döpfer module you will find the positive and negative polarization. When you go to the module it's like one signal and when you go away from the module it's again a different signal. So the more I go closer the more things I can actually modulate very strong. For some uh, modulation options signal is the strongest when you touch uh, the metal bar here because in this case when I touch it I can turn off and on the hold and flip um, modulation on the Mimeo phone. So let's do this. And by this way just your own movement to the music, you can modulate everything you want actually. And then I'm extremely satisfied that it's working so well because by this you have plenty of options to touch your own music and modulate it in so many destinations. Alright, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and that uh, it was interesting to see how you can use a theremin and touch your music and modulate everything with your self-expression. So I will remain here and jam a little bit now with the module. So thanks again for watching and see you next time.